How's it guys? Welcome back to Gas Starts SA and today, today we've got something special for you. I know I always say that we have something special lined up for you guys, but today we are sitting in the offices of Dr. D. Taylor. So you guys saw the owner, Mr. Charles, on the previous video. He actually joined us at the at the racing video that we did with the 6R and the Subaru. But today we're sitting and he's this. Like, I don't know what's happening here, but he gave us the keys. He's got a few good looking machines down in the surgery room. And uh, yeah, we decided what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you some more information. Seeing that this whole channel is a car related channel for all car lovers, for us ourselves, we are very big car enthusiasts. So why not share some of our knowledge that we have and get to know what you guys think personally about what we bring forward to you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be looking at a Volkswagen Polo GTI, the 1.4 supercharged and turbocharged. So what we are basically doing is just a few common things to look out for when purchasing a hot hatch like the Polo GTI. I myself personally owned one, so I can give you first-hand experience uh, from what I've experienced on the car myself. And uh, just give you, look, it's an all-around good-looking car. Um, there's not really that much bad things to say about it. But I think without further ado, uh, let's jump right into it. And yeah, if you guys have not yet subscribed, please jab that subscribe button, click the little bell so you can get notified for all our upcoming videos. We've got a lot of videos planned, especially with Dr. D. Taylor and as well as with Ryan Pereira Motors. Also drop us a follow on Instagram. I'll drop it down here at the bottom for you guys. Go check out what we're doing. We're going to be posting a lot of random things that from our day-to-day -day life and uh, showcasing what comes in, what goes out, you know, an all-rounder, just do yourself a favor. Go follow us. Did you follow us? Don't hesitate, go follow us, man. Let's jump right into the video. So yes guys, so welcome into the doctor's office or the surgery room, uh, Charles would say. So right behind me, the 2013 Polo GTI, 1.4 DSG, turbocharged and supercharged. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I personally owned one like this. Um, I've actually had a 2014 model. So obviously, with all the bad experiences that VW faced and complaints that they had from obviously customers that's purchasing the vehicle, they've sort of, I think, possibly 90% fixed those issues. So common things on these cars that I've personally well, heard of or even know about is, first things first, mechatronics that fails. Um, DQ200 gearbox, it, you know, they do, do tend to fail. It's not, everyone knows about it. Um, it's quite a common uh, issue on these cars. So, especially when coming to, when, when you're going to go and tune this vehicle, it can only hold an X amount. It's got a threshold. Um, so yeah, first things first, I would say, a common thing that normally goes on these cars, mechatronics, and I mean, it's not, a, it's not a very cheap fix. Um, roughly looking at excluding labor, you're looking at about 35 to 40 grand. No! No! To fix this bad boy's mechatronics. Now that's excluding labor, remember that. Uh, second thing, uh, I know there's a lot of customers that complaining about, you know, oil usage on the car. 
I think it's a no, it's a common thing. I mean, I know VW is, is claiming uh, to use one liter of oil for every thousand kilometers. Um, personally, I know you guys can comment down in, in the comment section below what your guys' thoughts are on that. But personally, with me owning the vehicle for about, say, a year and a half to two years, I've never experienced any issues on that. Um, I know there's a lot of people also stating that they've got piston issues on it. I know on previous models from 2011 to about 2013, um, there were issues, piston issues, you know. Um, 2014 model, which I had, never experienced any of those. So I'm not one to say yes, you know, there's common issues on it. Um, so you guys can let me know for the guys who, who owns these vehicles, let us know in the comment section below if you guys experienced any of these uh, issues that they would say about excessive oil usage, um, pistons that fails. Um, another common thing that I've experienced, I can't really say, I, I didn't experience anything. That, so it's very hard for me to make a, I would say it's a criticizing video. Um, but for, for what it is, for this hot hatch, I mean, I enjoyed my time in this car. And for those, who, for those of you guys who knows me, um, it was called the flux capacitor. So it did give quite a lot of hidings on the track itself. Um, it was tuned, we made, say, about 165 to 170 kilowatts on the car um, with no issues. I've had one problem but i think that is obviously my own fault um, with regards to a turbo but it's also wear and tear the turbo core went and we replaced it, the turbo core so not a big train smash um wasn't a very big uh, expensive fix to do but it's something to look out for um i know this, there was a, a statement made about the score of injectors failing Personally, I've never experienced that, so I can't comment on that. I'm gonna cut it there because we're going to be stepping into the office of Ryan Pereira Motors, and we're gonna be sitting down with Ryan, and he will give us some insights on some performance vehicle injectors that they will be doing, and explaining to us in a short little video clip of why, how, and what to do. So, yeah, I think uh, let's walk around the car and then and, and talk about some things that I really liked about the car. So, let's go. Okay, so what is it like to own one of these Polo GTIs? So, look, all around, like I mentioned, I haven't had any issues on my personal 2014 uh, Polo GTI. It's a hot hatch that anyone can drive I mean the capabilities are there when it comes to tuning purposes I mean myself I had intake downpipe I had a DV on it just a DV spacer on it and stage 2 tune on it and like I mentioned earlier we did about say 160 kilowatts on pump fuel I mean adding a little bit of OB1 you will, and I've seen it personally, you'll be able to get about 170, 173 about. So the capabilities are there. For a little 1.4, this car is out of this world. I mean, I loved my car. The, the way that it produces itself out the block um, with the supercharger and the turbocharger working hand on hand, um, helping each other out. Is absolutely phenomenal. Um, stock form 132 to 134 kilowatts on them, um, not bad. Uh, as you can see with the tuning uh, and doing the modifications on this car, you don't gain that much. Uh, you do gain quite a lot, but it's not what everyone thinks. You know, like I'm gonna be pushing over 200 kilowatts, you're not gonna get there. Um, the motor is finicky. Um, I mean it is only a 1.4 but overall I don't have anything bad to say about this car to be very very honest with you I mean you can still pick these cars up for steel um, 
I mean, personally, I bought my vehicle, my 1.4. Um, I bought it for 200,000 and I, it had about 60,000 Ks on the clock. So you can get these cars for a very good deal. Um, but probably now at this time, you'll find them with very high mileage. Um, but I mean, like the, the usual things that you look at from purchasing a vehicle, I mean, looking at the service history, um, taking the car for a test drive, seeing there's any jerking and stuff like that on the DSG box so you can tell if the mechatronics is busy failing. Um, you will normally feel that uh, when you, from a pull away, there will be a slight jerk uh, or if the car downshifts, you will it's, you will feel a, a jerk, especially um, on, but from second, well, third to second uh, and down. Um, but other than that, I mean, like, if you can pick one up for, for quite a good deal, I wouldn't say don't go for it. I mean, I would... Like even sitting in this car now, like I, I miss mine. I, I really do miss mine. Um, so yeah, there's not really anything bad I can say about this car. Uh, I told you guys about what the, the common fails are on this car, but I mean, um, I, you know, it, it's things that you can look out for. Okay, mechatronics, unfortunately not. It's just one of those things that does happen, that does fail. Um, it is nothing to do to prevent it happening. Um, I mean, the injector things that we were talking about, the injector failures that we people were claiming to happen, I mean, you can prevent that happening. Um, there was claims from timing chain failures. I mean, it's wear and tear. Every single little car will have a timing chain. I wouldn't say failure, but I mean, like, it's something that you need to look at. Um, it's something that you can prevent happening. Um, yo, another common thing that I forgot to actually mention is water pump failure. So, yes, these cars do struggle with that. It's a very very commonly known um, component to fail on these 1.4 Polar GTIs. Um, personally, again, I never had that experience, so I can't speak offhand to say yes. Look here, I would just strongly suggest uh, when doing a service on these cars, ask the guys to just have a look at it. Uh, there's nothing you can do to prevent it, unfortunately. It's just one of those things. It does happen. Um, but all rounder on this car i absolutely love this car and um yeah i think there's nothing more to say about it uh it's a good good outstanding car to have um yeah just like the known common things to to look out for and that's what this video is about um yeah i think uh, that concludes this video um for the guys who does own a Polo 1.4 GTI, uh, please comment down below uh, what your experiences are with this vehicle. Uh, like I said, again, I never had any bad experiences with this car, so I can't really speak um, to say that I've had so many issues on it. These are just the common things that I know about personally um, about this vehicle. So yeah, if you guys own one of these bad boys, please comment down below let me know what your experiences are with this car um, if you haven't had any experience or bad experiences with it also please let me know down in the description box below i mean comment box what you're gonna do in the description box um yeah so dr detailer actually did a full detail on this car as you guys saw in the uh, cinematics this car looks absolutely gorgeous uh, i will leave all the details down in the description box below contact them for all your detailing work um, like we mentioned in the previous video they've launched a new product line so go check it out support the guys we will have a chat to the owner to mr charles himself and he will give us some more insight um, on what dr detail is about so yeah guys if you haven't subscribed this yet please do me a favor it's because of you guys that we can do things like this um, bringing more content, getting more out of the ordinary vehicles on here, as you guys saw the whole new concept on this channel. So I really do appreciate each, each and every one of you guys. Um, yeah, so please do subscribe, click the little bell to get notified for all the upcoming videos that's gonna be coming up. And uh, yeah, I think um, that is it from our side. 
I'll check you guys in the next one.